Hey, hey friends, it's back for another You, Me, Same three. And these three items are this little chipboard uh, star, a tiny little rusted safety pin, and a button. Hmm, what can I make happen here? So I'm grabbing my journal. This journal is from the Dipton Song class. I've been working very hard to go ahead and get this journal filled up. It feels so good to complete a journal and have it all done. So I've been working diligently on making that happen. And so I'm just flipping through because I do not work in sequential order. So I'm not really sure exactly which spread will whisper its sweet nothings into my ear and have me um, work on it today. And lo and behold, here we are. There we go. So I'm going directly in here. I, you know what? Let me just explain. If you have never watched one of the You Me 3 collaboration videos, what this is, is my friend Mickelnay and I, we started this several years ago, I think actually three years ago, in doing this collaboration. We send each other three items to use, and then we let the magic happen. We film the process, and we just see how um, different that um, our pages, our mixed media projects end up being. And this year, we opened a Etsy shop that we allowed other people to join us on this fun, um, yeah, this fun You Me Same 3 project. So, down below in the description box below, you will find all of the people who are going to be participating today. So, make sure to go check them out, see who they are, and, and uh, watch their videos or check out their Instagram posts. And I look forward to seeing how everyone used their products and projects. Um, so, yeah. I can't wait to see them all. So now you see that I'm going here and I put some acrylic paint down, just got wild with it. I'm doing a little bit of stenciling because I felt like the color had got a little bit dark on me. And so I'm wanting to bring some lights and some movement into that. Um, and so that's why I'm going in there with the Tim Holtz number stencils and some Lucas Payne's Gray. And then I have unearthed my Daniel Smith uh, gesso, gold gesso. And so I'm using it, since I have my little sponge out, I'm going ahead and sponging it on to the star. So now I have this gold star. I actually think in the long run I end up changing the color. But anyway, and so I'm going in with my finger because I already have that gold out. And I'm going ahead and just smushing and moving things around. And I will tell you that this, um, this page came together really quickly for me. Um, even though I don't know it's the easiest one that we have done, I think it was really fun. Now, that rusted piece of fabric, I believe, was gifted to me from Mickelnay. So, Mickelnay also, Michelle, um, she is my partner in Crab on this collaboration. She also has a class out called Soul. Um, no, it's not called Soul Food, Tiffany. That's your class. It is called Rusted Roots, and it will be in the description box below where she shows you how to make one-of-a-kind um, rusted fabrics and papers and construct a fun journal. So make sure to go check that out as well after you get finished watching our videos. And then I'm just going through my scrap giblets here. You see them over there kind of pushed to the side. I'm just flipping through and seeing if anything is really calling to me and it's so ironic because I also had the little rusty safety pin with a little bit of rusty um fabric that Michelle had sent me she actually made me a rusted roots journal and so um, I had some of the pieces and parts um, that she had clipped on. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm taking a look and trying to decide how could I use this button and the elements that she sent and kind of make a little bit of a uh, dangle 
or kind of a charm to go off to the side since I had that fabric that was already stitched onto the page I thought hmm that could be an interesting way to be able to connect the charm together so I have the button and then I took some rusted wire um, and I'm kind of connecting that with it and then I'm kind of testing it with the safety pin to see if I can get all of that to work. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all I do end up breaking the star. I know, I know. I was trying to do a little bit more than it could handle and I ended up breaking it but it still ended up really cool and I think it ended up even in a better spot than what I originally was trying. Isn't that interesting how that happens sometimes? So I do want to let you know if you have been a diehard who has been watching this project called um, You Me Same Three for quite a while. I told you this was our third year and it's called You Me Same Three and we are going to be stopping this collaboration. So it has been an absolute blast in being able to collaborate with Michelle. I have enjoyed this project. It's always fun to see what we would come up with. Um, however, you know what? Our lives have gotten busy and have changed a little bit. And so we have decided that this year will be our final year. So you will have one more opportunity, I believe, yes, um, to get a packet. If you want to participate in the You Me Same 3, you have one more chance to do so. And that will um, be, a uh, packets will be available on the first weekend of November. So, just wanted to make that announcement. It is bittersweet, but you know, I believe when one door closes, another door opens, and it will be something new, fresh, and exciting, I'm sure. So, you saw where my doggone star broke. Man. So I ended up um, just kind of using that to um, attach to the edge there. And I did use some uh, gel medium to do so. And then I have these mica sheets. And so they are very interesting substrates to use. And I think they just kind of add a quality of interest and something unique. So I have a pretty large one with a very bizarre shape. And so I'm just trying to see how can I use that to kind of elevate and add some interest. So in all TIFF fashion, I did not really think through how it would all come together. I just started stapling that shit on the page. Okay. That's how I roll. Y'all know how I do. I think about it and it comes together after the fact. But anyway, I am using my long candle stapler here and I'm just going to smack it onto the page. And then I decided I had um, this uh, Tim Holtz, um, what are they called? Little people. We're going to call them the vintage people of Tim Holtz because I don't know. And I thought I never used those, but I want to use them up. And so I'm just going to take a tiny little Tim Holtz um safety pin there and I'm just going to attach those people to it. I ended up finding a few words which I cannot read at this point on my screen but I am going to go ahead and add a few little found words for my large font book and I just love how it turned out. It turned out really fun, fresh, and funky just like me and I did um, love how that little safety pin dangle is. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video as well and don't forget to go down to the description box check out all of the links that you have listed and I can't wait to see what everyone made so thank you so much for joining me I would love it if you would comment and tell me what you thought about this video and until next time y'all toodaloo